Hi guys, what's up? And welcome to my wardrobe. So this is actually my girlfriend's old beauty therapy room and I've kind of transformed it into my temporary wardrobe. Obviously I am traveling nearly every two weeks so I don't have a, like a nice setup, a nice wardrobe, and furniture and all that stuff so please don't judge. This is literally everything you can see on here is my wardrobe. I also have four pairs of jeans and a couple of pairs of tracksuit bottoms over on this side. But I pretty much wear shirts, hoodies, jumpers, and black and white t shirts, with the exception of a couple of navy ones that I like to work out in. So I would say my style is kind of street style athleisure. I don't own really any smart clothes at all. I have no pairs of smart shoes, and a lot of my outfits are based around whatever pair of trainers I'm wearing that day. A lot of you have been requesting me to do a fashion video, so as soon as we are in self-isolation and in quarantine, there's no better time than now to show you what I have in my wardrobe, put together five different outfits that I wear nearly every day, and that is today's video. Another thing I'd like to say is I have put a lot of my clothes in boxes, massive boxes like this. Show them. So I've got probably four or five of these boxes with all of my old clothes in and they're gonna go to the charity shop once this quarantine thing is all over with and I'm gonna buy a whole new wardrobe for summer which I'm really looking forward to and of course I wanna film that and show you guys what I'm picking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with outfit number one and we'll go out to the garden. We're not allowed to go on the streets and film anywhere cool so we're just gonna go out to the garden, nice and simple. Okay, so outfit number one, we're gonna start with a staple that every single person should have in their wardrobe, black jeans. I have two pairs of black jeans. I have, they're both from Zara. This pair, which have no rips in them. They're a little bit less skinny. And then I have this pair, which are a little bit more distressed and have a lot more rips in. I am a waist 32, always have been, always will be. I do have quite wide hips. Um, so sometimes even a 34 depending on the fit and we're gonna go with the more distressed pair today what we're gonna wear on top is this legend London denim jacket with the nice fur well I don't know what that's called but it looks nice and it's cozy it keeps you warm especially on a cold spring day and then with that we are gonna wear I think we'll go for a long sleeve t-shirt we'll go for this one oversized Amy team. This is actually an extra large. To be honest, it's far too big, but I do like oversized and I think it looks sick. Um, one thing to be careful of is if you're gonna go for distressed, this isn't too distressed, but if you were to wear a really, really ripped denim jacket and a really, really ripped, a really, really ripped pair of jeans, it might just be a little bit too much. So be careful of that, not to have too many rips and too much distressed this going on in one outfit. For the shoes, one of my all time favorites, Balenciaga's. Probably black shoes, black jeans, always goes nice. And obviously these have the white accent, which goes with the white t-shirt. So let's go outside and show what it looks like. Oh. like that again legend london jacket amy or amy i don't know how to say it it's a french make it's the full name is amy leondor or something like that jeans zara trainers balenciaga um next outfit outfit number two we're gonna go for the same jeans as these but these are light distressed denim always whenever you're gonna wear a light jean a light color denim i recommend wearing white i just think white always goes the best so we're going to go for a plain white over t-shirt. Um, we'll go for a large so it's nice and oversized. Plain white over t-shirt. And we'll go for layers is cool. Anyone that can work layers well, wear layers well, usually have the best outfit. So we'll go for this nice shirt. And um, this is from All Saints. So I don't know if this is going to look good, but we'll try it and we'll see. And then trainers, again, wearing the light jeans, I recommend probably wearing a white pair of trainers. 
definitely not a black pair of trainers. Okay, so outfit number three. Um, another pair of jeans, because all I wear is jeans, and yet another pair of jeans with rips in. But again, this is street style, this is what I wear, and these are just nice grey skinny jeans from Legend London. I think it's nice to have a pair of jeans in all different colours, because jeans are can go with anything really, and they're suitable for pretty much any event, other than if you go into a golf club. I'm going to pair them with this very simple there's not really any logos or anything on it apart from here on the collar which is a little bit different all saints oversized cream white jumper and then i'm going to pair that with probably my favorite pair of shoes easy 500 and i think these are not the salt ones maybe they are the salt ones Okay, so outfit number four is a pair of Pegador pants. Um, I actually saw these on Instagram, on an Instagram ad and they looked really cool on the model. When I got them at first, I was a little bit unsure on them, but I think if you wear them with a good pair of trainers, you definitely have a cool street look, especially with an oversized t-shirt. Um, I'm wearing a large in one of my black over t-shirts. Um, it's got a nice dropped sleeve, so it comes right down a little bit further than a normal sleeve, which I think gives a good street style look. The trainers I'm going to wear with these are just my Vans checkerboard. These are probably my favourite Vans of all time. Also with this outfit, a nice oversized black hoodie. Pretty much every single thing I wear is oversized. It's not oversized in style, I just always order a size or two bigger than necessary. I always like whenever the t-shirt hangs out the bottom of the hoodie so I could wear an extra large over t-shirt and that would bring it down a little bit further. But in this case, I'm just gonna tuck it in underneath the hoodie. And again, I think this goes quite nice. And I think this is a sick hoodie. This is from Legend London. It's got a cool mountain print on it. Okay, so outfit number five. The final outfit and probably one that I wear the most out of anything. I have three pairs of sweatpants here. And I mean, that's enough. These are super heavy. It's probably like five kilograms. Enough to get the bicep activated for sure. And these are all from Cole Buxton. So I have the gray pair of heavy sweatpants. These are a little bit too heavy for summer. Um, you will be sweating if it's hot. I recently got these ones. They're reverse fleece, undyed, which I really, really like. But very easy to get dirty. And then probably my all time favorite, the pink ones, which are well and truly worn in. But I think the more you wear these, the more you wash them, I think they just look cooler and cooler because the dye and stuff starts to fade like around here and they become more distressed, which I actually really, really like. Um, so I always, always wear these when I'm traveling. I don't wear them in the gym. They're too heavy for the gym, but I wear them when I'm on the plane and stuff. And I usually combine them with a cool oversized t-shirt. This is one that I just, I love this color of gray. Um, that's chain enable, really old. And I also like this type of gray. Heather gray, I think it is. And um, this we've got in Canada. And it's just got a cool, I think it's quite like an old school print. So I really like that. So I'm going to wear one of these. <laughs> and falling over.
Okay, so as I said, these bottoms are from Cole Buxton. This t-shirt is from a gift shop in Canada, in Jasper. The trainers are Nike Sasai or Sakai, I don't know how to say it. That is the first time me and Francis have filmed something like that in a long time. I hope it was okay. The sun was coming in and out of the clouds and we're trying to shoot around Golden Hour, so it was a little bit difficult, especially because Francis is behind the camera and not me. So I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. We will get better at these and I've really enjoyed making this video today, to be honest. So I wanna do way more videos like this and let me know down below if you want to see a similar video to this of five different gym outfits. Okay, and one final thing, these bracelets, um, they were actually made in Mexico. Some little man handmade them for me, so they're not really that easy to get. You probably won't get the exact same ones, but I'm sure if you go on Etsy and type in um, pearl bead bracelets, something like that, you'll be able to find some on there, and I'm sure they'll be very cheap. But I think they're a nice little accessory that goes with everyday outfits. So, once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.